consultations with potential clients can feel like one of the scariest things you'll do as a virtual assistant or virtual expert. It can be tough to put yourself out there when the possibility of rejection lingers. In this video, I'll share tips on how to overcome anxiety before you begin a consultation. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I will show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. Consultations are as much for you as they are for the potential client. During a consultation, you're focused on figuring out how and if you can help the client achieve their goals. You're also assessing if the client is a good fit for you. Flipping your mindset from what if they don't like me to is this person someone I want to work with long term allows you to shed a lot of the anxiety you might feel before a consultation. Just as it is anytime you meet someone new. Nervousness is normal. Therefore, it's important to find strategies that help you overcome your nerves so you appear confident, knowledgeable, and professional during your consultation. Here are a few strategies successful virtual experts use to calm their nerves before consultations. Do adequate research. Find out as much about the potential client as you can. Look at their website. Sign up for any freebies, such as a newsletter they have available and read through them. Follow the client on social media. Connect with them on LinkedIn. The more you know about them and their business, the more prepared you'll feel. That will help calm your nerves. It'll also impress your prospects. And this information will give you a good information a good indication of whether this potential client is a good fit for you or not. Have a plan. Go into the consultation with the mindset of figuring out what you can do to help. You're simply trying to help. You don't have the burden of making a sell. A sale? A sale. Well, that would be the word, wouldn't it? <laughs> During the consultation, ask questions that help you get a sense of what the prospect's goals are. Prepare questions ahead of time that will allow you to figure out what it is they really want and if they'll be a good fit for you to work with. Remember, the consultation is relatively short, normally about 20 minutes, and you want to be respectful, respectful of their time and yours. So you don't want to ask a whole grocery list of questions. You just want to get a sense of how you might help them, what their person personality is all about and if you want to work with them. Additionally, plan now how you're going to start the conversation. Preparing ahead of time gives you something to fall back on when you get nervous. You know exactly what ground you need to cover with the potential client and how the conversation should go. So also figure out how you're going to end the conversation. Practice. There's some truth to that old adage that practice makes perfect. While your comfort level is more important than perfection, practicing helps calm those nerves. Going through the conversation in your head or out loud, I highly recommend doing it out loud too, helps keep you on the right track when you get anxious during the call. Knowing how to start the conversation, what questions you need to ask, and how you're going to end the conversation allows you to focus on listening to the potential client instead of thinking about how nervous you are. Write out what you're going to say. You do want the conversation to flow naturally, but you also want to have those tools ready to fall back on if you get nervous or if there's an awkward silence during the conversation. Be yourself. It's important to be prepared and professional during the consultation. And it's also essential to be yourself. You don't want to work with someone that you don't connect with or who doesn't respect what you do. Just relax, take a deep breath, 
and be yourself. At the end of the day, there's a myriad of reasons a potential client may not end up hiring you, none of which you have anything to do with. Therefore, you can let go of anxiety, be prepared and professional, put your best foot forward, but know that if it doesn't work out, it wasn't meant to be with that particular person. There will be other clients who are great matches for you. Those are the clients you want, people you enjoy working with, who value you and your services. Ready to learn even more? about how to find, get, and keep high-paying clients for your virtual expert business? Watch my free webinar by clicking the link below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like and comment on this video.